Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now that I'm in Florida, a lot has changed with my makeup and I'm doing a video in a couple weeks of all of the changes I've made to my makeup routine because quite a bit has changed. And yes, I will be doing a video dedicated entirely to skincare. But for today, we're just gonna be doing how my complexion base has changed because aesthetically in New York at this time of year, it is full beat, it is heavy, and it is cold. But now that I'm down in South Florida, things are a little bit more let your skin breathe, a little more glowy dewy. I mean, it's it hit 80 something today. It is clearly not cold winter in New York. So I did wanna reflect that and lately I've been doing a lot softer on the complexion. So I'm not doing a demo on the eyes today. It's really just all of the base products. I do contour, bronzer and blush on camera as well. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload five times a week. And that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you wanna see how we got all of this done today, stay tuned. All right, so first thing that is gonna be essential to making sure that you are smooth, poreless, perfected, and I feel like flawless is the only word, but I'm gonna use it, is making sure that everything is smoothed over. So I'm gonna be using the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Clearly this is very well loved. I don't take too much of this, it's a very small amount. And I will just take this and I will add a little bit to the tip of my nose and kind of spread it into the area where I am the most porous, I guess is the best way to put it. And by really making sure that my pores are super smoothed over, this is gonna make sure that nothing kind of settles into any craters on my face. Then you have to go into something that's a little more suited to your skin. So once you are smoothed and perfected, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm really just gonna concentrate that, well, not everywhere. I'm gonna take a little bit everywhere. I was gonna say I'm gonna concentrate it everywhere I need it, but that's basically everywhere. If you are more on the dry side, you'll wanna go into something a little more hydrating. For me, it is all about oil control, especially being in South Florida where it is basically summertime all year long. Definitely a major change from New York. So next up is gonna be your foundation and your concealer. I really lately have been super into a more luminous foundation. I don't wanna say super glowy, cause it's not glowy, but definitely a little bit more of a fresh wear foundation. So I am using the L'Oreal Fresh Wear. It is comparatively to a lot of the other matte matte foundations, a little more skin-like. So I'm gonna take only one pump of that onto a foundation brush. I'm gonna put most of it in the center of the face and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of stipple that in, and then as I stipple it, I'm gonna pull it out. So I want the most of that coverage to be in the real center of the face, and then I wanna gently pull the foundation outwards because I want this area where I need the most coverage to have the most coverage. And I wanna make sure that there's just enough on the cheeks to make sure everything is the same color but I don't want it to, at any point, look any like heavy, cakey, crepey, the works. Then, I always apply with a brush, finesse with a sponge. So I'm taking a tiny bit more foundation on the tip of that sponge, and I'm really just going to press everything into the skin, make sure we are looking good, and by taking that damp sponge over the brush, it is going to pick up any foundation where you put too much down, plays down a little bit if you didn't put quite enough and just press it all into the skin so that it doesn't look heavy or cakey. It genuinely looks like your skin and it's not sitting on top of the skin. It's being pressed into the skin. Now, because I do like to go so light on the foundation, not light in color, light in coverage, I do go in with something a little bit more coverage in a concealer. So this is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. And I'm gonna take that all the way up into the tear duct area. I pull that down the side of the nose, which is gonna slim that down a little bit. We need all the help we can get. And then I'm going to pull it around the under eye. Notice I'm not redunking, I'm not adding more product. I'm just kind of spreading what's already there towards the cheek. Then taking a little bit of that 
down the bridge of the nose, a little bit in the center of the forehead, Cupid's bow, and chin. Now it looks like it's a lot more than it is. Once I blend that out, it's gonna look a lot less bright. I do start with the center of the face, and then what I basically do, and you guys have noticed this on camera, is I will blend out the forehead and then I will instantly go into my pressed or loose powder. Lately I've been using pressed because I find I get a lot less product and I like having less powder on the skin lately. So I will blend out the forehead, set down the forehead. Blend out the nose, set down the nose, and vice versa with every area of the face just because I want to make sure that once I set it down or once I blend it out, I instantly set it down so that there's no creasing and everything can be super long wearing. And then the last thing I do is the under eye. So I take a little bit of my long wearing setting spray. This one is from Smashbox. I spray it onto my sponge and I will use the long wearing setting spray to blend out the concealer. Then I'm going to immediately set down the under eye and notice i'm really just setting down the under eye and the side of the nose i am going to take a cream contour bronzer blush in this area so i want to make sure that i'm not adding a whole lot of powder to that although this is such a lightweight finely milled powder that you actually can go in with uh, creams and liquids on top and then just taking a brush that i typically do use for wiping away powder there's no extra powder on here i'm just going to use this to kick any powder off of the face and pull everything off. And while I leave that to kind of sit with that powder for a little bit, keep in mind we're not baking, we're just letting the powder sit on the skin, I'm going to take a tiny bit more of that setting spray, spray everything down. With that sponge, I'm going to just press over everything and make sure that everything looks seamless and flawless. And just because it looks a little crazy, I'm gonna go throw on my brows off camera and prime my eyelids, and I'll be right back to show you the rest of the complexion. All right, now that we are back, the key to keeping your base looking extra flawless is finding products that really flatter what you're looking to do. So I'm gonna be grabbing the Bronze and Glow and the Blush and Glow from Beauty For Real. This has recently become like my favorite combo of bronzer and blush. The way that this works is I will take the bronzer on the perimeters of the face. Tiny bit down the bridge of the nose. And grabbing that same foundation brush, I just blend it in. Then taking the blush, and really just concentrating that on the apple of the cheeks. And notice I'm not taking it quite as low as I did the bronzer. Since there's a little bit of that bronzer left on the brush, we are gonna blend the blush out and notice how that's gonna kind of blend into the bronzer. And you're just gonna get this nice flush to the cheek. Whatever's left on my brush, I just press on the nose just to give myself that like sun-kissed glow on the nose. Going back into that sponge, just pressing all of that into the skin, making sure that it is one with the skin and that everything looks seamless. And you'll notice the skin does not look overly done. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't even look super makeup-y. It really just looks perfected and it looks pretty. So there is that subtle little bit of glow. If you wanted, you could then take a highlighter and take that onto the skin, especially if you're looking for that like perfected glowy dewy finish. So I'm gonna take a little bit of high beam. This is the highlighter side of the bronze stick. No, I'm sorry, of the blush stick. And I'm gonna add a little bit just to the highest point of the face and just under the brow. And I'm gonna take that concealer brush for the under brow. And then using the uh, big side of the brush that we use for everything else, I'm just going to stipple that into the cheek just to add a little bit more of that dewy glow to everything. 
And because we want this like glowy dewy thing to last all day, I'm gonna take a tiny bit more of that pressed powder and I'm just gonna add a very thin layer over the cheek. What I love about this powder specifically, the Charlotte Tilbury powder, is it is not a luminous powder, but it's not a matte powder. It is a perfecting powder, so it will lock everything in place, but you will still see everything you put through it. You will still get that highlighty glow, but it's just gonna make it last a little bit longer throughout the day. And that is the base of complexion. So I'm gonna go throw on a quick eye, throw on a quick lip, and I will be back. And that is my finished complexion routine as of late. This is basically what I've been doing for every time I do complexion lately. I like how it's a little bit softer, a little bit glowier. I can still go overstated on the eyes, nude on the lips, or bold lip neutral eye and still be really happy with how it works. It is so universal. It does go really well with everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.